Hi. In this video, we'll be taking a quick look at how to start using Corona and the built-in Sun and Sky system. First of all, we need to change our render engine to Corona. To do this, we will open our render setup. And in the renderer line, we will click and select Corona Render. And Corona is loaded. Corona has several tabs for adjusting various parameters, but generally you don't really need to change much here. First tab is the scene tab where you can open the virtual frame buffer, start the interactive render on with just in just a second. Setup light makes open the li material library that comes built into Corona. Set your rendering limits, either by passes, the number of passes, or the noise level, or the actual time per render. Adjust the noising and set up scene environment overrides. In the camera tab, you can set up your camera parameters like exposure and other tone mapping stuff. In the performance tab are the settings for the actual rendering which are by default optimal, so we will not be changing those. On the system tab or system settings, which allow you to change your filtering type for the image or enable distributed rendering, among other things. So, let's take a look at the Sun and Sky system. Corona has its own built-in Sun and its own built-in Sky which are handy for uh, lighting exterior or even interior scenes quite realistically. So, if we were to start our render right now, we would see that we don't get any image. This is because there are no lights in the scene at the moment. So let's cancel this. And let's add a sun. To do this, we will open our lights, click here, and select Corona, and then select Corona Sun. You can place the Corona Sun in any viewport by a single click and drag to point the sun in the needed direction. And when you let go of the mouse button, moving the mouse up and down will adjust the height of the sun. So let's for now just put it like this so that we have a sun at all. Now another very useful feature of Corona is the interactive render. It allows you to see your work as it will look in the final render, but see it in real time, almost real time, on the fly. To start interactive rendering, we can either click in the render setup on start interactive or in the view, virtual frame buffer we can click on render and hold and select start interactive render as you can see now we have the light but it's a bit too bright to fix this we can go into the post tab and adjust exposure to let's say minus four no, that's a way too much. So we'll just drag it up. As you can see, everything is updated straight away. So you can see what's going on. And it's not just the lights that update. If you are to rotate the view or zoom, you can see that it immediately shows you the actual rendering. You can also move objects. And that will update too. Right. So now we have our sun. But all we have is the sun. So shadows are too dark. And we can't really see much. To fix this, we will select our sun. Go to the modify panel. And in the Sun rollout, there is a button called Alt Corona Sky Environment. All we have to do is just click that. As you can see, we just got our sky. Now everything is a bit brighter. 
and a bit more realistic. The built-in corona sky is automatically linked to the sun. So moving the sun will affect the color and the brightness of the sky. So we can put the sun up and we will get high noon. Very bright and very even. Or we can do a sunset by putting the sun down. As you can see the sun uh, colored the sky red as it would be in nature. Now that we've set up our sun, our sky, and supposedly the view of what we want to render, we can stop the interactive rendering and we can go on to our final render. Now, since Corona is a progressive renderer and it will keep improving the image as time goes by, it can do this forever. Since we don't want any render to go on forever, there are, pa there are progressive rendering limits in the render setup scene tab. Here you can set how many passes you want rendered or how much noise you want in the image or how long you want the render to take in hours, minutes and seconds. Now being progressive, Corona renders its image in passes. One pass means that Corona went over all the pixels in the image and calculated the light for each pixel. The noise level limit looks at the amount of noise which is calculated after several passes have been rendered and reduces with every pass of the render. So if we were to even start the interactive render again in the stats tab of the VFB we see there is a noise level line here it's currently 6.21 percent but in a few passes it will be reduced it will go down see it's three now and so we can tell Corona for the final render that we want our noise level to be let's say four so we put four in here and if we start our final render now and we watch the noise level we will see that the rendering will stop as soon as the noise level reaches four or less percent it's already 4.3 because the picture is small But watch what happens once it goes under 4. Every next noise level target takes about twice as long as the previous noise level. And as you can see now it, the noise level is 2.53% which is much less than 4% and so the render has stopped and the image is considered final rendered the same way the time limit works you can set your render to last for one minute and then in one minute's time corona will stop rendering the pass limit sets how many passes you want corona to render regardless of the noise level for example we can set multiple limits depending on your needs and whichever is reached first will stop the actual render. Another great thing is the ability to adjust all the camera settings while the interactive render is going on. So as you saw in the beginning, we can adjust the exposure and we will see the changes immediately. Highlight compression, white balance, Contrast, which is not too obvious, but it's there. 
shadows, highlights, vignetting, and so on. These will be covered in a separate tutorial. This concludes our quick look at how to set up Corona and to use the sun and sky system.